it's Evelyn here and welcome I am on a fat loss journey I'm getting ready to go to the store to pick up some food because I'm about to do some meal prepping and guess what I am taking you along with me to pick up some food let's go Well, got all my food. I like going to Walmart because it's much cheaper. I used to then shop at Walmart, but now I shop more at Walmart than I do at the other regular grocery stores. But yeah, all done. I'm tired. Now I'm going to go home and cook. Well, I want to eat first. prepared my dinner meal ready now I didn't do breakfast because I normally know what I'm eating it's usually the same thing I do oats and protein I do egg whites and veggies and I do fruit and yogurt it just depends so whatever I feel like doing and that's pretty quick it doesn't need to be prepped you know what I'm gonna have a salad every single day there is no excuse because my lettuce is already prepped and all I have to do is add the fixings I will see you tomorrow on Monday for the weigh-in and the measurements and to tell you what my plan is I'll see you then How do I plan to attack this fat? I plan to attack the fat by being active, all right? I can't burn any fat if I'm sitting down and not doing anything. I do three strength training exercises a week. I do two cardio sessions a week. On my rest days, which I don't really consider them rest days, but they are active rest days. I take it easy on those days, but I also walk. I walk every day. That's my plan, to walk every day, at least one to two times a day, 30-minute walks, if I can fit it in. But if I can't get two walks in, 
I'm certain to get one walk in. Now, as far as my diet is concerned, I track my calories using an app called Chronometer, right here in the middle, Chronometer. That is what I am using to track my calories. I am consuming 1500 calories so far. Today is Monday, March the 4th, and I have just started this. Now, I started out in February. I wasn't even on the wagon two days before I fell off. And the reason for that is because my husband, and yes, I'm blaming you if you see this video, <laughs> he bought me some candy for Valentine's Day. I didn't think it would mess me up, but at the time I was not tracking calories. I was trying to do something else that I never really am successful with doing. So maybe, you know, it worked out pretty good because I decided not to follow that way of eating anyway. Instead, I decided to track my calories so that I can see with my own eyes how macronutrient, just tracking those things and exercising can transform my body. So I am consuming 1500 calories tracking. I'll be doing my meal preparations as you've seen in the video. And the book that I am following as far as exercising is this book, Muscle for Life, written by Michael Matthews. He has a 12 week program. And this is a book that is really for 45 year olds and older, but anybody can get fit at any age. And he tells you exactly how to do it in here. So I'm following his exercise plan and a lot of the recommendations that he has in this book. That's it for my plan of attack. I need to make a correction about me being obese. It was brought to my attention by two people. One said that I would be obese if I was 380 some pounds. All I need is an Alka-Seltzer. That's what they told me. Mm -hmm. Another person told me that I don't look obese. I just look overweight or chubby. And so when that second person said it, I said, let me do a little Googling to, to see. And I found out that I'm not obese. I'm almost there, but I'm not there because I'm 29.3 BMI. If I was 30, then I would be considered obese and I would be in like the little category one of obesity. So I'm 29 BMI, I'm not obese, which I honestly thought I was. I made a mistake. I am overweight. I'm in the overweight category, but I'm on the end where I'm pushing obesity. I'm not gonna be obese, not if I can help it. If you like this video, why not give it a thumbs up, all right? And subscribe, only if you want to. Until next time, peace.